<laughs> I know. I saw this and thought uh, it was hilarious. It, we got to show hilarious. it tonight. Yeah. I'm just here for you know, the money. Speaking of dark humor, it's funny because I just saw that, like, literally, that was why I was late as I just got back from seeing this again. And I saw it with, like, this really small town crowd who clearly was all the meta jokes were just flying over their head. But the one joke, the one joke that brought down the entire house was, I need to show you something big. That's what Scoutmaster Kevin used to say. That joke <laughs> brought down the entire fucking, everybody laughed at that one. Like, that was the first time in the entire movie. I'm like, finally, everybody finally cracked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why more people didn't laugh. The, the joke that got me was the one where he's like, yeah, you urinated yourself while you were unconscious. He goes, I wasn't unconscious. Oh, he just yeah. moves on. Dude, that, that was probably the, the second most team. laughed at one. Yeah. Yeah. That killed me, dude. I was like, that's such a good one. Yeah. Uh, so how many people liked the movie? Everybody here but Anna? Everybody but Anna. Everybody but Anna, apparently. Everyone but me. Yeah, I haven't laughed at a Marvel movie that hard in a long time. I, I loved it. it. That's so pretty last wild, week. I doesn't laugh at comedies ever. I'm like, dude, isn't this funny? He's like, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> last week I gave it a seven out of ten. Um, mm. I saw it again. It gets better on review, yeah. <laughs> I saw it again, and now I give it an eight out of ten. Yeah, because I just still laughed at the same shit again, and uh, still had a smile on my face the whole time. And yeah. I think it's the perfect movie for right now with everyone, you know, ramped up with shit and hard times. You go there and you have, it's what movies are supposed to do. Give you escapism. Yep. I yeah. That's what That's I got out of it. That's a great point. Because uh, they, they make a mo uh, joke out of this in the movie. Like, oh, imagine wearing a superhero costume in a superhero movie. Like, we've really forgotten what superhero movies are supposed to be like with Grim Dark Man of Steel and the umpteenth Dark Batman. Yeah, I mean, it, I, yeah. I really like the movie, man. My my favorite scene, I guess, spoilers a little bit, is when Wolverine and them fight the the Deadpool core. Like for me, that was my favorite part of the whole movie. I loved it so much. Blake mm. Lively looked good in that Deadpool outfit. Was that actually that her? Wasn't her? It was a body yeah. double. Are you sure it wasn't her? Damn. Yeah, she really? was pregnant when they filmed it. I was gonna say, oh. hey, well, then she wasn't really yeah. De Lady Deadpool. No, she, she was the, the voice. voice. She was the voice, but yeah, still. that doesn't count though. Huh. Damn. Well, whoever nice. was in that suit filled it out really nice. I owe myself an apology. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like my, yeah. My, my favorite thing is still the whole human torch shit. Like that stuff. Oh my gosh. That was funny so to fake out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, the second time, because I, I went with my son the second time and he wanted to leave, like, we got to stay to the end credits. You got to see it. It's <laughs> yeah. funny. It the, end credits, it great. the end credits vindicate. Uh, Deadpool and I love that scene where he's like, "I'm listening." Oh, okay, and then he quotes him like, <laughs> yeah. he, he, sold it. He, he just doesn't word give a word. shit." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just like the little things too, like when when Chris Evans is about to talk and then Deadpool like goes up behind him and embraces him and he immediately like pulls him off of him and stuff like just stupid shit like that. That's what I liked. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. agreed. Yeah, yeah, the van fight was probably one of my favorite scenes in the film. Love yeah, the, the van fight's great. Fight. Yeah, it's, it's first, definitely one of the best movies they've made in a long time. Like, definitely. Yeah, the I, movie. The does the movie really perfect. need to have a lot of substance when it's literally the thirtieth fucking movie in a row? Like, I just feel like it's it's just a fun offshoot <laughs> movie. Yeah. Well, the other thing too is this is kind of in a way one of Fox's last like hoorahs. Um, I mean, the, the, it just it brought a very distinctly different tone to the MCU than what we've seen as far as the structure and stuff, because like Brian Reynolds and Sean Levy had a lot of creative control at Fox. So they came in here and normally I think they would have been curated by Marvel to kind of follow a certain path. But it's obvious they had a lot of creative control with the humor and the jokes and even poking fun at like, hey, we could have made more jokes about certain things. But we were told, no, I think that that's legitimately them going, yo. They told us we weren't allowed to make cocaine jokes, even though we want to, because it's funny. Like, I think that that kind of meta humor and stuff really uh, was beyond what Marvel would have ever let them do. But the fact that they gave him the, the freedom to do it, 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 it almost brought an authenticity back to the movie that we haven't seen in like MCU movies in mm -hmm. decades or well, not decades, but years. To yeah. be clear, like Sean Marvel Lewis is the is, villain. Yeah. Sorry, well, yeah, yeah. Marvel yeah, yeah. and Disney are the villain. And yep. yeah. And, this is the only Deadpool movie that Sean Levy's been involved in. Keep that in mind. But 
Yeah, yeah. this whole movie is predicated on the fact that Disney killed the, tw- the killed 20th Century Fox. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right, like that's the whole point of the movie. That's why the void exists, basically. And they killed off every ancillary MCU thing. Like I even caught little Easter eggs this time. I didn't catch the last time. Like I caught the 1990 Captain America oh, shield. Yeah. Yes. laying on the ground as they come down and you know specifically which one it is because the old one from red brown it was it wasn't white and red it, it was it was clear and red and the one from the 90s had it was all like bigger and it folded around like this and that's the way this shield looks is it's all folded around and dented so i'm like that's the 1990s uh cap shield that's not the i i game. noticed more easter eggs too i noticed stan lee on the bus did anybody else see yeah, Stan Lee the on the first, bus? Yes. Yes. Yep, I noticed that first time. I didn't time, notice that the cameo, first yeah. time because I was watching them fight in the bus and I was kind of I was kind of like you know locked in on that, but I didn't notice it until it drives by at the end. Yeah. That's when I noticed it. Hmm. Yep. But man, there's so much it, there's so much love for uh superheroes in this and there's so much love for the comics. This movie I think out of all the Marvel movies, this one really does show big love to the comic books. Uh, they recreated multiple comic book covers in this. Yeah. Uh, just that one, that Todd McFarlane cover, the probably one of the most iconic Wolverine covers ever, you know, where he reflects Hulk in the cu- in the claws. Yep. That's one of the most popular Wolverine covers out that, there. that was so much fun. I, I like. I, I just love the the tribute that they do on the uh, end credits there for the Fox universe. Like that. That yeah, stuff. I love that too. It was I so like cool. It, but... Like you see how like how young Hugh Jackman was when he started this shit. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I liked it, but it's a bit bittersweet because they end on the 20th Century Fox logo, and I do every time I get a little like, I can't believe they did that. They destroyed one of the longest running studios well but they they showed they showed respect for the fox movies and it's not something like marvel does not respect the shit that they put out but they showed respect for the fox universe movies well that was all right that was great and sean levy basically like mike was saying and i I, like and we know the only reason this movie ever happened was because bob chapek was in office for about eight months right like that's the only reason this movie happened and because Hugh Jackman called Ryan and said, now's the time because I'm getting a divorce and I'm going to need the fucking money. Yeah. (laughs) Well, he got divorced. Yeah. 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 That's why they they made fun of him about it in the movie. They made a joke in the movie about it. Yeah. (laughs) I couldn't believe it that they did. But yeah, they do. They straight up make a joke about it. Yeah. Yeah. What was the joke? I'm convinced. What's that? What was the joke? I don't don't remember. He kind of let himself go since the divorce is what Deadpool says. But then at the end, it did it's a setup for the end when his shirt blows off and you can see that he's all ripped. Now, still, I yeah. liked that part. I yeah. figured you did. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Too, the rumor is that that was part of the reason, though, that he got a divorce because they, she was like, yo, he was like, yeah, I need to spend time with my family because I, I have to work really hard on these movies and I don't get to see them very often. And then he's like, that's why I'm done. And then immediately it was like, hey, I'm going to do another one of these and she was like, yeah, I think we're done. Mike, I kind of heard something like that, too, was kind of like, yeah, he had promised her no, no more of these. And I think yeah. he was kind of hinting that he wanted to do another. One. And it's funny because it's probably true, because the moment this all went down, the first thing he said is he called Ryan Reynolds and said, mm-hmm. let's do it. So, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. I think I, it, I, yeah. Real quick, uh, Mr. Mr. Burger for 20. Check out X next week. Possible never before footage of Mr. Girl from the dark web coming soon. New video dropping Monday. Vito's going to have a bad week. Follow Mr. Burger as the Vito Doc Saga continues. Thank you, oh, Mr. Sure. Burger. Keep exposing that pedo. Well, I think it was even cooler is that Ryan, you know, basically texted everybody he knew to try and get yeah. everybody he could involved. You know, and I'm sure a lot of it was conflict, you know, time conflicts more than anything if you couldn't. But like, yeah, yeah it sounded like a I lot of I was surprised that like Halle Berry in wasn't in it and stuff right like you know what i said was well no you know um the the all of the characters that were in the void were like discarded characters that got replaced in the x-men well that juggernaut technically all the fox characters are supposed to be down there at the end that's kind of the point but i said there there was one joke they kind of missed they should have had mars didn't come back and and patrick stewart just for one little bit you have them in the beginning of the fight like they're there like they're part of the group but then at the end of the movie during the credits, like you have all the dust settle when everybody was done fighting there, because we never saw what happened after Deadpool and Wolverine left. It'd have been hilarious if like everybody was dead but those two. And then Scott and then he, he kind of looks up at Scott and goes, 
boy, I didn't think we were going to survive that one because they die every goddamn time. It's true, like they literally really brought Blake, back Patrick Stewart like five times now to kill him. Right? Blake <laughs> wasn't uh Blade wasn't a Fox character. His new no, but cinema. he's killed because of the the Fox, the whole the whole merger and everything, and just the, the them getting the rights back and everything just over time. Like every Marvel thing now in the past has been both killed and soaked up into the universe. That's kind of the whole yeah. point of the movie. If you're paying attention here, is like like the Deadpool that they plucked out of his universe. That's the one they're picking now to put in the six one six universe, right? Because that's mm-hmm. the quote unquote best one, mm-hmm. right? So that's yeah, why they yeah. needed a new Wolverine. That's so that's probably how they're going to get to to Doomsday and Secret Wars. 